And if you can't do that, it's going to be a long day on the backboards. So the New York starting five. Calderon is out there with a follow. Then there's Robin Lopez. Then it's Anthony. And it's Brzingis in at the four-man position. You know, watching Aaron Aflalo, incredible form on his jumper, excellent mid-range shooter who's made himself into one of the league's better three-point shooters, too. And they'll keep possession. And can hit the results. And how. I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put these teams, Greg, to pull away. Mm. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. Rose passes to Butler. Calderon against Rose. It's blocked. Calderon against Rose. It's blocked. Calderon with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Outside Williams. Out to the right wing. The three. And he gets it to go. And the Knicks lead by one. And now we'll get a perspective. The bench guys do the heavy lifting. Definitely a feel-good win for the team. Cannot be happy with how things have gone during this run. I think it's a good decision to take a break. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he had to do something. Uh, they're getting buffaloed and beat up. Uh, he couldn't let that continue. He had to call the time out there. There's 18 seconds left in the first half. Stolen by Grant. Yeah, the shot clock's off. This could be the last possession of the quarter. I don't think there's any doubt. Subbed in for Aaron Brooks. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That's foul number two for him. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Anthony kicks to a follow. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And guys, talking about Melo, I mean, he's faced some difficult injuries here. Seems to have worked out for him as far as how his draft stock has changed. Rose with the double team. Singas passes to Anthony, and he gets the bucket. Anthony's got six points in the quarter. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Outside Rose. And it's blocked. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me a bit out of sorts. When they see cracks, I think, break in his game. Yeah, you know, for Marcus, it, it, it can only exceed expectations because they started out so low. I'd simply say that if I had to pick between one or the other for best career, I'd do everything I could to pick both. <laughs> Good way to get out of it. Good answer. Persingas <laughs> passes to Anthony. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And, and Ingus, that's good. And so Galloway with the assist. And the Knicks lead by 13. The Bulls have gone 4 of 7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Rose kicks to Gasol. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Persingas. And there's a nice one handed slam. That's a monster on the inside for them. His strength and his size came into play so much tonight. And to go along with his physicality, he had a sweet touch around the basket. His play tonight, Ernie, was finally a bright spot for them because, you know, they had a very rough stretch of games. It's been a while since their last win, and he was not content on playing a supporting role and letting them lose another one. He came on strong, took over, and put an end to the losing streak. 